Hey guys, this is Shainu. Today I'll be talking about the ISYE 6414 regression analysis course that I have taken at Georgia Tech. So this course is part of the statistical elective section and you will need to take two courses from this section to fulfill the you know degree requirement um, so let's go back to the grade structure that i have placed here 84 percentage is just from examination and only 16 percent is coming from homework and quizzes so before i go into the exam section and how you can prepare for the examination i just wanted to talk about the overall course this is probably one of the worst class that i have taken thus far in this uh, degree uh, the reason why I say that is because the teacher had a, it, the teacher often fumbled upon herself, which makes it very difficult for you to follow her. So that being said, I tried to watch the videos for the first week and obviously it's 16 weeks of content. So I tried to watch the week one videos and I could not follow her and it was just making me feel i don't know how to explain it it just i just didn't enjoy it and so a workaround that i had to do was for you know to download the lecture transcript and then highlight anything and everything that i felt like it was important that means that i was just doing pretty much a self-study of this course which is to me unacceptable because i'm paying some money to to georgia tech for them to provide me good course content uh which i didn't think they provided with this one particular class i'm not talking about any other class this is probably like the worst i have taken ever maybe it's just this course <laughs> and so anyway that's how i felt about the course i still managed to get an a by the way um and so i'll be sharing some tips around how you can strategize for your exams so first thing let's talk about examinations so you have two part examinations the first part is closed book and which is just multiple choices. So you have about 24 or so questions. And out of the 24 questions, you would have 14 or 15 true or false, and the rest of them being calculations or being able to interpret a model result or a model summary. And the second part is a coding exam. And the coding exam is 60 percentage of the overall 100% of a, of a given exam. So 60% is coding, 40% is that closed book uh, multiple choice. The coding portion is open book, but you will not be able to go to Google to check Stack Overflow or anything like that. You can open your homework, at the, the TA solutions of the homeworks. In my experience, the coding portion was not too bad, uh, just because most of the functions that they ask you to use, you have used it before uh, from homework homeworks or from practice exams. So the coding part was not difficult, but uh, some people did struggle. So yeah, that, that's the examinations. I also mentioned about practice. Um, so they do give you a practice exam a week before you're about to take your exam. Um, the practice examination is pretty good. Don't expect questions to come from it, but use that as a, a way to test your the, the honor lock extension and also to kind of test your knowledge. And that's kind of what I did. I didn't really memorize it and went into the exam that doesn't work that way. And then you have homework and quizzes. So quizzes is uh, open book. And so you can search through your transcript for PowerPoint to find answers. You would not find answers that easily. And you know, they do really make you work hard for the six percentage, let me say that. So now the last item is the homework and the homework is a peer review homework. So I hate the whole peer review thing, uh, just because you could have some people that are, I don't know how to explain them, the people that purposefully give you a low grade without even checking the solution. That happened to me so many times in this course. So to, to get a full 10 percentage is a bit difficult, but the homework is very good and it solidifies all of the stuff that you, you should know uh, for the given module. So you have five modules in the whole 16 weeks. That is this course as far as um, the grading structure goes. Now I'm gonna talk about the strategy that I used to get an A in the course, which is read through transcript every day after work. Every day I would read as much as I can to make sure that I have the content pretty well in my head. I'm not necessarily memorizing them, but just reading them and trying to understand it. So I would read a section understand what they're what she was trying to say and that really helps you in the closed book examination of this course the coding part what i did is i had again it's an open book so i created an r of all of the functions that i have used in the homeworks and for the practice exam then i would write a note saying what is 
this function supposed to do? How would you interpret that? And that really helped me. Like my coding was always about more than the average. So that strategy will work for you if you try that. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll be sharing some Venmo and Cash App information down there. So if you want to buy me a coffee uh, for making a video like this that probably helped you, um, <laughs> uh, feel free to do that. Anyway, I'll see you guys in another video for now. Bye.